टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्यूज अबाउट द फ्यूज फ्यूज इज अ सेफ्टी डिवाइस हुई द वीकेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग एंड इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेटल फ्यूज एलिमेंट और लिंक व्हिच मेल्ट व्हेन द एक्सेसिव करंट पास थ्रू इट एंड प्रोटेक्ट द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड द अप्लायंस इट इज ए व्हिच व्हिच मेल्ट व्हेन द एक्सेसिव करंट फ्लो थ्रू द फ्यूज एंड इन दिस टाइम द फ्यूज विल मेल्ट एंड प्रोटेक्ट protect the rest a circuit and other appliance etc the material used for fuse wire are tin lead zinc atomy copper etc most uh, for the small current lead uh, small current lead uh, tin alloy is used for the small current uh, for the small current rating in the fuse uh, used uh, the lead tin alloy the different type of uh, fuse uh, you need number on round type the fuse metal are used the fuse or uh, fuse metal is fuse metal tin <coughs> lead zinc atomy and tin money copper etc are used for fused metal second is a different type of fuse unit different type fuse unit different type fused unit number 1 round type round type this type of fuse consists of porcelain box and two separated wire terminal which holding the fuse wire is a round type of fuse and this type of fuse uh, consists of porcelain this type of shape of box it's a metal two metal element here on it metal here on metal in anyway, it is a input terminal it is a output or terminal this input terminal it is a output or terminal of fuse metal connected to the input terminal to output on terminal is consist of porcelain in box second is a rearable fuse re rearable rearable fuse in this type of fuse in this type of fuse uh, this fuse element is uh, fuse element is wire which may be replaced with a necessary and you know, it consists of a two part on part is porcelain base with fixed contact with a fixed contact on is incoming and second is outgoing the fuse wire are connected and other part is porcelain fuse carrier which carry the fuse element rearable fuse or it's called the kitkat 
और फ्यूज द फ्यूज द टू पार्ट वन इज बेस और वन इज फ्यूज और कैरियर द बेस इज अटैच विद द बोर्ड और वॉल द फ्यूज कैरियर इज कैरी द फ्यूज एलिमेंट द फ्यूज और कैरियर पार्ट इज ए रिमूवल पार्ट वी कैन रिमूव विद आवर नेसेसरी It is a rewirable fuse or Kit Kat fuse, and this this fuse made by porcelain. There are two part. One is called is fuse base, and this part is called the fuse carrier. This is a rewirable contact too, and it is a fixed contact. It is a fixed contact. The fixed contact is made by hand metal, and the input terminal is the input terminal. It is the outgoing in terminal. so this type of fuse has a advantage of easy replacement of fuse element without any danger coming in contact with phase where our fuse carrier is detachable and low replacement cost and these fuse are cost very low it is used in domestic purpose or domestic power supply purpose in housing purpose or house wiring purpose third is cartridge fuse cartridge fuse in this type of fuse having the totally enclosed the insulating and insulating container usually cylindrical and provide at it is both end with a metal contact this is a cartridge fuse the provide at it it is the both end with a metal contact both end with a, a metal contact two contact are made by any metal the cartridge uh, enclosed fuse element the in the both side are enclosed the fuse element filled with a sand or calcium carbonate the cartridge is fused if filled in a Filled uh, in a filled in a sand or sodium carbonate. In the in the side of cylindrical there is a blowout indicator. In the side of cylindrical there is a blowout. This is a blowout in the indicator which indicate when the fuse is blow when the fuse is blown out or when the current is high flow. This cartridge fuse in this time is indicate the fuse is blow. it is not any fire risk and replace with a new new on when it blow this is used one time it is used only for one time second is high rupturing capacity fuse high rupturing capacity fuse this type of fuse used where the high power is supplied and high and has a high value is known as is known the breaking capacity this type of fuse uh, used where the high power is supplied where and has the high value known the breaking capacity it consists of heat resisting and the heat resisting body having the metal end plate to which silver current carry element in this diagram of hrc fuse the two end the made by brass and the filling the material with a quartz calcium carbonate or sand it is a uh, fuse element it's made by silver it is a two part it is a input it is a output it is a, fill, a fuse link a contact it has an advantage of capability of clearing high as well as low fault current it has a quick operation it do not deteriorate due to and maintenance free now this type of fuse is used in the high power or high current it is used for one time it is not replaceable 
or not second not replaceable and second twice used in the system so it is a high rupturing capacity fuse second is mcv mcv means miniature circuit breaker miniature miniature circuit breaker their full form it is a device which protect the conductor or electrical installation from short circuit or overload it is a device uh, it is a device it used for the short circuit and overload of purpose now it is instead of fuse now it is instead of uh, fuse they are used to both residential and industrial wiring this can be a uh, single pole two pole three pole or four pole uh, <laughs> it is a mcb the cross section view of mcb there is we see the different part of mcb the thermal thermal element contact system an operating mechanism a magnetic strip in the arc extinction chamber this is the cross section and view of a mcb i will discuss their different part option a the first part is frame so frame it is a molded case give the mechanical protection the outer part of a mcb is called a frame it protect for mechanical purpose second is trip trip unit or trip circuit it is the most important unit which active the operating mechanism when overload or short circuit occur trip circuit or trip unit a unit is a important part of mcb mcb unit which active it is the active part or the operating mechanism it is the active part or operating mechanism when the overload or short circuit occur in the wiring third is operating mechanism operating mechanism operating mechanism the how to uh, operate a mcb or their different part how to work with a with when uh, when occur a short circuit or overloading the mcb has operate in three position mcb operate in three position on off and tripped there are three position or or a mcb on off and tripped a trip occur when the over current draw from a circuit and come to off position trip occur when the short circuit current draw or overload current when the occur overload and then will be and then this time current will drop a uh, highly highly from the circuit uh, then this position the mcb come to off position this is the operating mechanism third and final is a final point is contact contact the contact basically make uh, on or off when is tripped and electrical arc occur <coughs> contact basically make on or off when it is tripped and electrical arc occur when a mcb tripped then this time the arc produced in the mcb the uh, the arc is uh, the different time uh, different uh, type or rating of mcb or current rating voltage rating and 
interrupted uh, rating interrupted uh, rating it means the march current or interrupted interrupted current rating means when the short circuit occur or uh, short circuit occur then this current is called the interrupted current or the overload current is also called uh, the interrupted current where the mcb trip the circuit the mcb are specified by 5 ampere mcb specified by 5 ampere 10 ampere 16 ampere 32 ampere 60 ampere 120 ampere etc this is the rating of mcb